Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, wait, I still gotta crank them up. Not to mess up, instead of crank up. Uh, all right, we are live on BSN for another edition. The number to call is 864 What's up? Today we're going to talk about a few products again, and I think we're going to start off with our keto plates. Now, I haven't had my koozies, but I got them today so I can demo more clearly how these open edge people, open edge pieces are supposed to work. Uh, of course, we got all the. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, Pittsburgh Steelers, Pittsburgh Steelers. We have white too. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves color. Uh, but what you're supposed to do is get yourself a barbecue superstar koozie. And then you get your Kino plate. And you stick it in. Uh, now, you can put that right there and then put yourself a solo cup here. Now, you can also a little six or eight ounce cup put it here and put this here and then put your condiments here or whatever you want and put your drink here now the advantage of a solo of a kino plate is you get these cheap five cent plates right here that are obviously gonna fall apart on you and you use it like a liner and You've got all your food and your drink and everything in one hand. That's the whole idea. So we, we could put our koozie in here, put our drink in here, and uh, uh, or uh, condiments in there. Uh, we're ready to go. Uh, hamburger, you know. Anything you want on the plate, load it down. You're mobile. Now, put this in here, and then we'll go walk around the uh, event and talk, have a good time. You've got all your food in one hand. And you don't have to set it down. You don't have to set your drink down somewhere. You don't have to set none of your stuff down. Now, uh, we've got, for storage, we've got these that bend. And you know, it makes it easier to store. Then we got these are like the, the master kino plates, and these are made for kino cups. But of course, you can put uh, a six and eight ounce cup there, and it'll do the same thing. Uh, these will hold the biggest plates, you know, you can get a big 12 inch plate with the rim sticking out, and it'll It'll hold it. These are the strongest. I like these the best. Uh, this is the magnetic Kino plate. Now, why a Kino plate? This right here, I got 24 plates. It says it right there. Twenty-four plates for $8.99. Now, they are the pristine, you know, this thing here is made out of probably old newspaper. But it's very stout. Uh, 24 into 9. $0.41 cents a piece. 
41 cents a piece. So now you're going to take 41 cents, you're going to eat on it one time, you're going to throw it away. Now, you can't hold your drink on it, you can't uh, carry it around one hand and have all your food on it, uh, and your drink and everything, your condiments. But uh, you're going to spend 41 cents every time you use it. Once you buy the Kino plate, you've got all this convenience. And you're going to use a three to five cent plate on it. And you're going to save your money with one or two parties. Uh, I mean, and then for the rest of your life, because these things are built very sturdy. Now, don't be fooled. This is not a, a uh, if it's paper item. This is a heavily manufactured plastic item that will last a lifetime. Uh, throw this away. Take your uh, glasses out and put it in a dishwasher. And then store it for the next time. I mean, if you got a hundred of these, uh, and you got them all color-coded to what you want, get 25 of each color you want, and then when you do a party, uh, get out a different color. And if you want to uh, do a tailgate and get it color coded. Get 25 of each of the right colors and then pull them out to the tailgate and you'll have 50 uh, for a different type of setting. Um, now, portion control, and this is one that I'm really excited about. Uh, if you get, uh, this is uh, Minnesota Viking, Minnesota Viking colors. If uh, or north, uh, northwestern. Uh, if you get the smaller plates, you know I, I don't know if I actually have any right now. But see, this is even big on it. You can get smaller plates. They'll still have the convenience of carrying a drink. And you know, if you don't want to set up a whole bunch of tables, give everybody a keno plate. And Put your 8 inch plate on here, put your little tailgate food on it, and then let everybody eat. And then when it's over, throw the plate away, throw the drink away, and go back. And I mean, I know all of us have been through this. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, a whole over two hands. Now I can't eat. Uh, Kino plate solves it all. Mr. Kino. Did a good job. Okay, right now on Barbecue Superstars, we've got Chops Power Injector. Chops Power Injector is only $80 right now. And I know most of you know how to pump it up. And make sure there's no pressure there and stick it in the meat. I've used it a hundred times, just did a brisket with it. We've reduced the half gallon to eighty dollars. Better get it right now because <laughs> we're probably gonna go back up on it. Uh, it'll come in a box just like this. And see the National Barbecue Association new new uh, gadget of the year. Uh, that year. And, uh, pretty awesome. Okay, now one of the big things I wanted to talk about this morning is Octofork. Octofork is a rotisserie system. And the reason they call it an Octofork is because of these two pieces right here. Now if you see, each end has got eight forks. You can see the eight forks right there. You put a Boston butt or a brisket in between it and you clamp it down. So you stick that Boston butt in between there. You clamp it down. And then you put it on your 22 inch barrel cooker or your Weber or any of those cookers. You can even put it on a uh, regular offset and it'll sit there 
and it'll twirl. Now it'll reduce the amount of grill space you need. Now you get two sets and put them on it and uh, put a 7 to 10 pound Boston butt on both of them. Uh, put a rack of ribs. Now you can take ribs with the other fork, pull this back, hook a rack of ribs here, hook a rack of ribs there. You can get two racks of ribs on a knocker fork. I'm sure if you got creative, you might be able to put four on the octa fork. It comes with motor. You got electric motor, battery motor, uh, however you want to do it. Uh, it's O C T O F O R K S. If you go to Barbecue Superstars, look under Barbecue Superstars shopping net, or uh, if you look under Grills and Smokers, you'll see a link to octa forks. Or just look for it. It's inexpensive and it works really, really, really well. And I wanted to bring this out to you and let you look at it again. I don't actually sell them, but he gave me one and boy, is it good. We're going to be using this thing. Octo Fork. Now we've got another item, uh, a whole company line that I want to talk about, and that's Maverick. Maverick is really the leading company in temperature control and cooking devices to keep up with temperature. And I'll tell you why. Uh, inexpensive you know some of these companies want three four five hundred dollars for whatever and this thing right here get it for twenty thirty dollars that'll do internal temperature of your meat internal temperature of your cooker and it's got a remote control device that you carry with you so you got the same thing uh, thirty forty dollars if it tears up, it's not like the end of the world. You got to take your next paycheck to fix it. Uh, Maverick has got the ready check pens, you know, and it'll check it instantly. I've got one right here. And I tell you, I love this thing. I mean, this is a pro. I've had this thing. I don't know, 10 years, I guess. And uh, I've never had any problems with it. It works good. I mean, Maverick, it's just it's just a lot cheaper. You know, I mean, why spend $150, $200 on a uh, ready check pen? Uh, I got to admit, they've done good in the competition circuit, uh, getting everybody. And it says, you can check it in two minutes. You know, well, you can check this in one, one second. Uh, no big deal. Okay, I want to mention SNS flavors. Uh, SNS flavors sell by the gallon. You have to buy a minimum of four gallon. So, if, you know, if you're a barbecue cook and you want to take your barbecue to the next level and it's still that grand flavor, get a hold of SNS flavors. Uh, SNS flavors will uh, jack up. Your barbecue. Uh, now we've got some rubs here. Good shit. Special shit. All shit. We got chicken shit. I hate you put shit on it, but uh, outstanding rubs. We've got them for sale on Barbecue Superstars. And they sell like crazy. And then, of course, Elk Creek. Now, I don't sell this one, but I just did a brisket with it. And the brisket went, was so dang good. E L K C R E E K. Elk Creek. Elk Creek is an outstanding rub. We've got the full line of Suckle Busters. Get yourself some Suckle Buster rubs and sauces. We've got about 15,000 items on Barbecue Superstar Shopping Network. 
on our website we've got about 50,000 items uh, I wanted to mention uh, www.125west.com they uh, sponsored us with these knives and uh, I wanted to mention those on uh, PS PSN this morning uh, they did a grand job uh, sponsoring us okay we just got sponsored by Blackstone Blackstone makes a flat stop flat top grill now it ain't exactly barbecue it's uh, but it's fantastic out, outdoor cooking so like uh, you know you take the family out and you're gonna go camping and nothing feels better in a camping situation than being able to eat outside in the camping setting just like you do at home and you know if you got three or four kids who uh, they want to go fishing swimming running down the trail riding bikes out in the mountains you know if you got a big family and you want to make it easy to cook uh, Blackstone 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 has got the complete line of propane flat top grills pizza ovens uh, they've got a tailgater that's got a grill on one side with holes in it and it's got the flat top on the other side and they've made it so easy to travel with you know it's not like you've got to uh, get this big gaudy case out put it in the case and you know, it takes an hour to fold it up you know when you gotta go out and work 30 minutes to fold up your cooker uh, it's no longer fun so uh, Blackstone's made it throw up the legs fold it in put it you're gone and you know if you can't do it in a minute you know there's something wrong with you so we'll have that hopefully by next week and uh, next time we do BSN I'll be cooking on it I'll be hopefully going out and cooking at uh, uh, Lowe's and Home Depot where they're sold um, if you want to buy one right now go to Lowe's go to Home Depot uh, look for Blackstone flat top cooker get the 36 inch and uh, you'll be ready to go now I might just go ahead and run through a few more products that we have on the website. Since we're here, Dave's Gourmet Ginger Peach Hot Sauce. And we got Suntava Hot Sauce. And we've got Yucatan. Yucatan's a new one. And we've got Trump That Bitch Hot Sauce. <laughs> I still got a few of those left. Uh, boy, Donald Trump's been through it, but he's still strong. Blair's. We've got Blair's Chipotle Slam. And we've got Absolutely Wild Barbecue Sauce. And we've got Sucker Buster Gold Dust. This is a good finishing rub. Get it all done. This is ground up real fine. Just sprinkle it over the end of your ribs. Right here is uh, Stubbs Mesquite Liquid. Liquid smoke. There's another gold dust. Here's a Sucker Buster competition rub. Sucker Buster Texas brisket. 
Suckle Buster Competition Rub. Suckle Buster Gator Rub. It's a little hot, but boy, is it good on chicken. And there's a Suckle Buster Clucker Dust. Here's a uh, K. John's the Reaper. Super hot salsa. <laughs> oh God! If you're a man, that stuff's good. I'd eat it. I can stand hot stuff pretty good. K. John's apple smoked bourbon. That's some good barbecue sauce. Kentucky Bourbon Q. That stuff's good. Feeling the burn. Bernie Sanders. You gotta wonder if he didn't really win the Democratic nomination. Feel the burn. Although he's conceded. Melinda's garlic. That's pretty good barbecue uh, hot sauce. Cheech and Chong garlic. Uh, we sold a whole bunch of that on eBay. Heartburn Dawn's Mango Habanero. Feel the burn. I got three of those. Crazy Jerry's Backfire Extra Hot. Oh, that's an oyster clam and everything sauce. Wow. I'll have to try that today. I got a bunch of bottles in there. I tell you, I got the uh, Ring of Fire too products. Original Anchor Bar. This is the barbecue recipe. Wing sauce. Medium recipe. This is straight wing sauce. This is not barbecue. Melinda's garlic. Barbecue Superstars Roadkill hot, uh, hot Wing Sauce. That's the hot wing sauce. Anchor Bar Hotter Wing Sauce. Rhino Extra Hot. Whoa, Rhino. Whoa. Whoa, that one will set you on fire. Okay, Melinda's garlic again. Melinda's chipotle. Melinda has been a big name in hot sauce for a long time. Shove gun control up your. There's another Trump that bitch. Bite me, hot sauce. A and W, great for dipping. Belizean heat. This is by Marie Sharps, and that's the little one you can carry in your purse real easy or in your pocket. Budweiser Mild Wing Sauce. Sucker Buster Competition Rub, and that's a smaller size. It's just a four ounce. Get a little cheaper. Just use a little bit.
Soga Buster Hoochie Mama 4 ounce. thing I didn't mention today was Kino Cups. Now, these are really could be drinking cups, but you could put condiments in it for the Kino Mega. Now, this solid plate is the Kino Mega. I mean, it'll hold a big plate. It'll hold a lot of food. It's very sturdily built. Uh, we can get it in any color you want. I mean, if you want to if you got a college team, you want to color code the right way, uh, we can make it the right color. And, you know, we can make them by thousands. But, I mean, the thing about Kino Cups is, <clears throat> uh, double sturdy, double pour, you can pour right in there. You know, <clears throat> they're, uh, Uh, dishwasher safe. Tough, sturdy plastic. And then put your condiments in here. Uh, Kino cups are got a little flange on them. That's the kicker. So there's no way. I mean, you'd have to put, well, you couldn't put enough stuff in it to make it go through. I mean, uh, and you know, glass of wine. That's another good thing about these Kinos is you get your wine glass. Big Kino Mega, a wine glass will just set right. You know, it's uh, this is the best plate. I love this plate right here. All of them are good. They all last your lifetime. I mean, you buy these things one time, you'll never have to buy it again. You know, but uh, uh, Kino is going to revolutionize tailgating. And after a while, I think people will realize what exactly is going on here and they're gonna uh, start buying them and uh, you know he built all this because he wanted to make things easier for you to have a tailgate barbecue superstar is all for that oh Lord, we got a lot of sauce the sauce is boss got another big sponsor that's come on uh, next week we'll be talking about them uh, barbecue superstars website is becoming a huge source of information for cooking barbecue but also for healthy eating and for uh, the best commercial setup you know if you're out there you're trying to make a living in barbecue you need to get on barbecue superstars and figure out what the best equipment for you is. Now, I know there's a huge debate out there about Hickory Pit versus Southern Pride. And both of them are excellent. Now, Southern Pride is more of a five-star hotel luxury cooker. Uh, get a Southern Pride, put it through the wall where the opening is. They've got a whole bunch of mobile trailers now where you can buy a Southern Pride or 
a knockoff of it. There are some knockoffs out there, which I'll caution you. Uh, how you gonna get parts? Number one and number two. Uh, how long is it gonna last? If you get yourself a good Southern Pride, if you cook 700 pounds on it a day, it'll last you 20 years. And in 20 years, all you have to do is replace a belt or something. I mean, it's not that. It's not that big of a fix. But uh, hickory pit is a great outdoor and indoor. You can put it through the wall, but it's it's probably the best outdoor uh, 700 pound cooker in the world. And you can get it mounted on a trailer. Now, if I was going to a fair and I was going to cook 700 pounds at a time. Uh, half the people got Southern Pride and half the people got Hickory Pits. Now, if you go to the Southern Pride page on Barbecue Superstars, I have the phone number to getting parts now. If you can't find a number for how to get parts to Southern Pride, I got it there. Uh, the Southern Pride people, though, have been very snooty to me, you know, and the Hickory Pit fellow come out, he was in New York, we did an interview, uh, we was in, uh, American Royal, we did an interview, uh, the Hickory Pit owner is a very, very nice guy, so, I mean, if that's a tipping, now, I'm sure if you went to Southern Pride, you're gonna spend money, they'll be very nice to you, uh, so uh, that that is one fact. That is a fact. Uh, uh, got a lot of vending trailers out there. Um, shoot, I like them all. You know, I mean, uh, you really can't buy a bad vending trailer uh, because you got control of it. Uh, you know, whether you buy it or not, and whether what's in there is correct or not. So. Uh, 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 so, you know, I mean, it's up to you as to whether you, uh, pick one out. Uh, there's one man that's on YouTube that's got a fantastic website that, uh, puts vending trailers together and he's brilliant. And he had a 30 foot trailer. Had the full kitchen with the uh, gas stove, uh, the 70 pound and 40 pound deep fryers, uh, refrigerator, freezer. You know, in a vending trailer, one of the biggest problems is refrigeration and freezers. Now, I've been with a lot of different vendors, and the best way to handle that is, is, you know, if you get an F-350 or 450 uh, you can put two or three four foot chest type freezers in it and then haul that to the event take them all plug them up and use them while you're at the event uh, so you have all your freezer space out now you can't freeze your meat because you got to go out there and cook it. What you can freeze it, it'll just take a long for it to thaw out and cook. But uh, really, what Famous Dave did, he would get a freezer truck and he'd have a pickup size or a van size, not a tractor trailer, pickup size or a van with a big, the whole back of it's a six foot high freezer or a F-350 type uh, uh, vehicle and put all the meat in there and then uh, have a refrigeration truck or put all your frozen. Now, you know when you go bend, you're going to have frozen french fries, uh, frozen okra, frozen whatever you're going to deep fry. All your deep fry stuff will be frozen. And uh, so you need a freezer. It's kind of hard to run a vending trailer where you don't serve french fries and, and the size of deep fried along with barbecue. But, uh, uh, so if you buy a trailer 
really don't put any refrigeration in it at all, you know, uh, which means you have to go out the trailer to get your stuff, uh, which I got to back up on that a little bit now. Uh, Trey's Place Barbecue had one commercial freezer on one side. It was a stand up with two doors. If you watch the video, you'll see it. And he had one commercial refrigerator, two doors. Uh, and he kept the mainstay of its frozen, the big bulk, and refrigerated out in a tent underneath because he had three chest type freezers outside. And then he would put what they're actually using inside in the two chest type. And he kept them both on one end, which. This man on the video, he had it right in the middle, which is better because you don't have to walk the whole full length of the trailer to get your frozen. And so, uh, you know, it's easy to put all the machines in a trailer, but your refrigeration and freezing, which is probably one of the most important things, is kind of difficult to handle. So think about that when you go to set up your vending trailer, uh, your refrigeration and your uh, freezer is going to be very critical to your success. Uh, seasoning a pot or pan, seasoning a flat top grill, seasoning something big. Uh, I got a whole page on that now. Uh, if you go to Barbecue Superstars and uh, uh, go to the blog. I'll have and it'll have all the products you need and how you're supposed to do it. Now there's people out there on a flat top that said you gotta put 14 coats on it. And then I, I, it worked out good. The guy I seen do that did a good job. It worked. Uh, then you got other people saying you don't have to do that. Uh, there's a product that has beeswax in it that I've got listed. You're supposed to do a better job of putting a coat on it. Uh, then you got other people saying, just go get some Crisco and put on it. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, I mean, we always just use oil. I mean, it would always be Crisco or something. Uh, they come out with this new uh, beeswax uh, system. And then uh, another thing that if you got a flat top grill is taking the back, turn it over and spray the back with uh, heat resistant paint because the back of it's what will rust. And uh, so it's a good first step. Go ahead and, and then it's to go a long time, you know. Uh, put uh, heat resistant paint will still flake off. Um, I haven't found one yet that after a smoker is used for a while, it will flake off. But just paint it again, it's a, it's a battle. But if you repaint it, uh, you'll keep down rust and it'll make it last a whole lot longer. Uh, we've got a lot of new information on barbecue superstars uh, blackstone has got the coolest pizza oven i've ever seen if you go into grills and smokers and look over the pizza oven you'll find it there uh, it's outstanding situation it'll make it in two minutes now if you make a brick one it'll do it in one minute so you gotta wait an extra minute but what's the big deal okay this has been another edition of Barbecue Superstar Shopping Network, and the biggest thing I want to tell you is get out there and barbecue.